Man, it feels good out here. The sun's shining, winter's gone. Mm -hmm. But what do we need to enjoy this weather outside? A margarita. <laughs> Not just a margarita, but we gotta have something to sit in while we drink that margarita. That's right, and today we're showing you how you can build a custom lounge chair for only $100 and three tools. Ready to build, guys? Here's all you need to build this DIY lounge chair. Eight two by six, two two by twos, five two by fours, two one by fours, and one one by two. You're also gonna need a utility hinge, a continuous hinge, some wood screws, make sure they're outdoor screws, wood glue, and don't forget your tools. First step to build these chairs, we're gonna build the bases of these chairs, and it's super easy. We're just gonna sandwich these two by six boards, one on top of the other, mm -hmm. and we're gonna attach them with wood glue and deck screws. Make sure you use exterior wood screws because they won't rust outside. This is gonna be a super heavy, chunky, beefy lounge chair, but it's really windy in Texas and I designed it that way. I don't want my lounge chair ending up in my neighbor's backyard. Or in your swimming pool. Or in my swimming pool. So this side of the base is done. You can see we've got all four of these boards sandwiched together. And I went ahead and ripped the round edges off the sides using my table saw. It's one of the three tools. And that gives you a really solid looking side right here. So you don't see the boards as individual boards. It looks like one chunky solid piece of wood. Now we have our two bases built. We're gonna flip those over and we're gonna mark two and a half inches from the top. This is exactly where we're gonna be lining up our cleats, which are two by two boards. Attach those using wood glue and two and a half inch outdoor wood screws. step is to build the guide for the backrest on the lounge chair. So that is going to be this piece right here and the purpose of that is so that the mechanism in the back of it that raises and lowers is going to slide up and down on that. And we're going to build this with lots of wood glue and you're going to put the one by two along the edge and it's going to be flush and then we're going to attach it with one and a quarter inch outdoor screws. Okay, done with that, what's next? Now we're gonna flip them back together. There's a lot of flipping involved here. So now you can see we've got both sides of our bases done and we're just gonna put the two by four slats in between right here and we're gonna attach them with screws into those cleats. Do you have them measured out a certain way? I have a super simple trick, so okay. stay right there. Stand yeah. by. I got some scrap two by fours and I cut them and these are gonna be the spacers that we put in between each two by four slat and that way you don't have to measure with your tape measure. Time saver. Yep, and I'm using one scrap board to give us a straight edge over here. Okay. So we're marking an inch and three quarters on each one of the slats for the backrest. Now when this lays down on those cleats, the cleats are gonna fit right here and that will let the backrest lay all the way flush with the lounger. This is where our little spacer blocks come in handy. Whitney, grab yours. Got it. And I've made these two and three eighths inches wide. Put them right there so that we know exactly where to put the next board. Now we're moving on to the next one. And with all the cool, awesome tools that we use, it's funny that sometimes the best tool you can use is just a little wooden spacer. Okay, I can see how this is finally kind of coming together and turning into a lounge chair. Is it making you want to lounge? A little bit. It's not the only thing making me want to lounge. <laughs> okay. Backrest is done, so now we just need to add that middle guide. Yes, so we're going to center the middle guide facing up on the back. And we're going to add some wood glue on the middle of each slat. And make sure we center this, guys. So you want to measure out, make sure this is lined up perfectly center in the middle of this board. Okay, all okay. done. We've all got right. our backrest totally done. Nice. It's going to hinge open just like this. And I can already picture myself lounging. I better go get the blender warmed up to make you a margarita. Two for me, none for you. Boo. So now we're going to attach the slats. This is the bottom of our lounge chair. And we're going to attach one slat at the very end 
Okay, this piece is done, so let's go add that one six inches from the back. Yep. And this board is gonna go underneath the cleats, and the reason that we're doing that is so that we can have a place to attach that hinge for the arm that helps the backrest go up and down. Okay, cool, so we got this one done. Now we're ready to add these slats. And we're gonna start with the slat that's closest to the backrest. So we're gonna take the backrest, and we're gonna lay it on the cleats. That is a nice fit. Okay, but now let's add the rest of the slats. Great, give me We've that got spacer. our spacers. Trusty spacer. And this is the easy part, and before you know it, we're gonna be lounging by the side of my pool on our loungers. We might even use sun in. Our slats are done. Now all we have to do is add our hinges and the arm that will hold that backrest and then we're ready to lounge. So I'm going to attach these two pieces together to create the arm and I'm going to use wood glue and wood screws. Okay, it's hinge time. Now we're going to flip over the backrest so that we can attach that hinge. So you lay these flush together and we are using what's called a continuous hinge. The round part of the hinge right there guys, that part's going to stick out facing you while you mark it. And it's going to be right in the middle of where the two boards meet. And now we're going to add the utility hinge to the arm that will support the backrest. And guys, also make sure you get an outdoor hinge. You don't want this stuff resting right after you put it on your chair. So make sure it's center, pre-drill, and then attach those hinges with the screws that they came with. We've got everything done. We need to add those stoppers. These are gonna be blocks that will stop that arm that make this adjustable. Last screw. Fantastic. Okay. Assembly done. Assembly done. I wanna Lounge see how this hair done. Open okay, it up. So right here. And put it on the middle one. First one. And that's when you want it as oh, tall as you want. That's great. That's when you're watching the kids swim. Yes. Okay. Or when it's just like out yeah. for decoration. Yeah. Then put it on the top one and that's for like extreme relaxation. Love that. Actually that wouldn't be extreme relaxation. <laughs> that would be. Because you can drop the arm and you can lay totally flat. Oh that's good when you're getting some sun for your buns too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Final touch. Oh. Have a seat with. Oh, I'm on it. Just relax. I'm on it. All right, guys, so there you have it. How many tools did we use? Three tools, under $100 in supplies. So be sure to download the free plans and go get yours built. We gotta build me one now. <laughs>